right? I mean, you staying busy, moving up the ranks. Give me an idea what this what this stretch has been like for you. That's a blessing. It's kind of funny. After the Contender Series and the debut, we have like a lot of time to sit down, but I'm really enjoying it too. After a layoff for a while, not fighting, now getting to make my debut, now be on part of UFC history on Fight Island. I'm I'm enjoying it all, and I have my dad here, cornering me the first time ever, and experiencing that with him, so it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. So I was gonna ask. I mean, obviously a lot of traveling. I mean, you're used to by now like fighting with no fans and all the system mm. and all that, but you know the travel and the being on Fight Island. Does this have a different feel or change than, than the last two fights? No, the UFC does a great job. I mean, it doesn't feel like a anything different than the last two fights. Really, I know there's going to be an octagon on Saturday and a little Sunday morning here and get ready to get after it. Uh, the UFC's made it super smooth, you know, like with the accommodations or understanding of like the time change for the fighters and the, you know, traveling out early really, really helped. And the the plane was amazing. At the end of the fight, you know, first class, like just <laughs> I fell asleep more than anything. So uh, it was a great trip and I'm ready to get after it now. Very cool. Talk about the matchup itself. Did you know much about him? Did, did you have to look him up? Did you watch his debut? What did you think? For sure, yeah. So I watched Joaquin's debut and I watched one of his other faith fights, you know, and I could find on the internet. He's, he's a good fighter. You know, he comes to fight. I like that. He definitely wants to throw bombs. He wants to get in there and mix it up. And he, he tried to bring that intensity in the octagon. For me, I love it because, you know, I love guys who come to fight, like not going to back down and, you know, get to pull it all together, you know, pull out the whole toolbox. And I'm ready to claim this victory. But, man, I, I think it's like it feels more like home now. You know, the first fight, you're like, okay, we're in the UFC now. You know, you're fighting Maki. Better be smart. But now it's like, okay, this, now I know I belong here. And it's like, let's get going. That's awesome. I, I imagine, like, fighting frequently, like, you know, making his paycheck is probably a good thing, as you said. You know, getting, <laughs> but I always hear, too, that, you know, like, when you get better, it's between camps, when you're not preparing for an opponent or mm -hmm. you're not. A, so what do you think? I mean, do you want to keep this kind of crazy sure. pace moving forward, or do you need some time? For sure, yeah. I like, man, I'd love to keep this pace. I would like to fight maybe seven times before the end of the year, like eight times now, what, in total. Uh, last year, but like, when I first started fighting, it was six fights in seven, almost eight months. And that, for me, it's like, I always had like a challenge. Like people, are like, oh, you can't get better between this. Can't get better in camp. I'm like, I believe you can get better on fight week. Depends like how much you focus in. And I actually think on fight week you have like a different kind of focus, right? Like you can do your best to have any this kind of focus all year, and maybe we can replicate that one day. But the amount of attention you pay to your, you know, attention to detail is so critical you know, on fight week. That I think you have the opportunity to keep getting better and getting better and getting better. And for me, it's like I had to do that because. From one fight, I had my, my pro debut, then I had two fights in a month, and I had a bunch of fights back after that. Then I had my contender series fight. The longest fight, the longest life I had between fights, like, like two months between my contender series fights, the first one. And I was like, well, I have to get better. So my coach says, you put necessity in the organism, and then you'll see it grow. And that's the truth. So for me, it's like, let me keep getting better. Let me keep training. And we saw it between, uh, at least I believe, <laughs> I can tell me I'm wrong, uh, the contender series and then my UFC debut. And I plan to show more improvements this fight, too. That's awesome. And last week for me, what's uh, what's the goal here? I mean, is it just picking up a win and moving forward? Do you feel like you want to prove something or show something? What's what's the plan? You know, the goal here is to claim victory, do what I love to do, finish the fight. That's what I'm here to do, man. I, I believe we can do it. I believe there are opportunities. But, man, really, it's go there and fight. Leave a fight that well, there are no questions asked after. Whether it is a decision, <laughs> I was pushing for the finish. <laughs> Tried to get it last time, didn't get it. But really go out there and do what I love. Do what I love. You know, honor God, do my job. And move forward. Enjoy it with my dad and Brian and, and Diego. It's cool to have them too, you know, two Latin American fighters. So Hispanic Heritage Month, it's been pretty cool to have them here. Did I read somewhere you have three degrees? I do. I have an associate's in uh, business administration accounting, and I have my bachelor's in accounting and bachelor's in finance. So you're pretty set after when you hang up your gloves. For sure. I'm working on it. Thank, you know, my parents have always uh, valued education for sure. Back home where they're from in Congo, it's like sports aren't like they are in Western culture. You don't play sports and then kind of keep moving up, really, unless you go to Europe to play soccer. But the one thing they always had was education. So for me, having my degrees, having those opportunities, it's not even like a fallback, but I always know I don't have to fight, so I can definitely give my all. Because when I'm going to do it, I, I have to commit to it. It's not like I'm going to just use that as like a an excuse of why I'm not training or something like that. It's I know that I have this, but I want to be the best in what I'm doing. Did you get your degrees before you – uh, pursuit of pro career? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, I, see, I didn't fight, I didn't start fighting until my last semester of college. So, my anything, like jiu jitsu, boxing, wrestling, kickboxing, Muay Thai, anything. So, uh, only pretty much three years ago now, I started that my last semester going in. And I wanted to get better at football, found out that I love mixed martial arts and fighting. And that's kind of how I ran with it. I had a job, I was working at this company called Avid Exchange in Charlotte, it's a financial technology company. 
after a couple months of working after I graduated school, I was like, this is not for me. And I told my parents I left. I went to the local grocery store. And uh, ever since then, it's been train, 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 fight, and keep it going. What were your parents' reaction when you said you wanted to pursue a career in the So, well, my parents are awesome. And the funniest thing is, like, I, I went to my parents' room and I told them I'm gonna, gonna fight. And my mom was like, talk to your son. <laughs> and my dad was like, wait, back to the grocery store. But they were, at the same time, super supportive. They're like, okay, if you're gonna do this, you gotta give it your all. And you know, they let me stay home, didn't kick me out, thank you for that. And uh, they, every single day, you know, they just challenged me. They, they pushed me to be better. And they knew if I was gonna let go of that awesome job that I had in accounting, which I was really appreciative of, that I had to make the most of fighting. And they came to every single fight. You could hear my dad cheering from like, it doesn't matter if it's in the nosebleeds or to like the front row. And you, you feel them with you. So they, they've been awesome. I just remember, I think it was a shock too, because I didn't tell them that I was leaving. I just kind of left and then went to their room and said, yes, yeah, so I'm going to the this grocery store, Harris Teeter back home. And they're like, what? And I'm, yeah, I'm not working there anymore. I'm going to focus on fighting. And I was still an amateur at the time. So that was definitely I haven't had my second fight yet. Well, I think so. Israel Adesanya had a similar story. He convinced his parents by, he described it as getting his master's degree in ass kicking. So, okay, <laughs> you can go with that. I like that. You mentioned that uh, heightened focus of fight week without being too sort of melodramatic. Is that the, the bit like a fighter lives for? No. To sort of get into that zone and be like, Anything kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. I, th I think that, you know, when you get that heightened focus on fight, you're like, thank you. It's like you get a little bit more opportunity to capitalize. Like, I really like the fact that we're quarantined. Not the fact that there's COVID. I hate that for people. But I remember during, before I was in the UFC, watching Fight Island and thinking like, man, how cool. I was talking to my dad, how cool would it be to be on Fight Island? And he's like, man, if you go, I'll go out there with you. And then he's here with me now. But I remember working out at home. I would go to my front yard and I go to my backyard. I'd do pull-ups in my tree, do my workouts in the driveway. But when you're quarantined and you're isolated, you have an opportunity to focus strictly on what you're doing or you can go the other route and not focus on it at all. On fight week, like, you have nothing, there's no other reason for me to be out here. The only reason I'm here is to fight. Like Fight Island's great, the beach is great, the pictures are great. But when I'm out there, it's I'm here to do my job. And when it get that opportunity to not even be accessible. Like, you know, I think at home you're more accessible, like your friend needs you, this, that, and the third. You have almost the least amount of distractions. You have no distractions, really, because the UFC provides. Like, all you really need is sit in your room, they bring your food to your room, the trifectas, they don't have to cook. Like, I could just be in the same sweats all week if I really wanted to be. And I realized, like, having less really gives me more time to focus on what I'm doing. And then every fighter, I believe, lives for that. At least I know I do. I'm like, man, this is awesome, because those little adjustments, you remember in a fight, I remember even a couple of fights, they'll say like, hey, remember this? And we just talked about it in the locker room. And to see it work in the fight, it's always a great feeling. So you're like, you know that focus paid off. Cool. Awesome. Thanks.